In this video we will continue working on our project file, and explain mapping. Let's add an additional set, of 11 by 6 fixtures to our layout. Instead of adding them one by one, I add a single RGB fixture, and use duplicate. This easily creates a rectangular or circle grid. The duplicate window has more features, including auto patching, but for now we simply click finish. I'll create a normal group, and a different type of group, called a matrix. A matrix is used for presets that use the position of fixtures relative to each other, allowing 2D effects, images, video and text overlays to be mapped on the fixtures. In the mapping tab, we can see a pixel precise layout of fixtures represented by the white dots. The location of each dot can be adjusted, for each individual matrix. A pixel matrix preset renders and scales the preset to this light gray mapped area. You can adjust the layout and render area if required, setting the size manually, or crop to the fixtures used. Back in the timeline tab, we can apply a pixel matrix effect to the matrix group. Presets must be compatible with the timeline row category, and filters can be applied for convenience. Let me add a 2D wave on the created matrix, and adjust some parameters for a clearer effect. If we simulate this effect, we can see how the preset is using the fixture's position in the matrix to create a nice oval wave. Now without changing the preset, see what happens if I adjust the matrix. The round wave preset will be rendered to the square, and the pixels are only mapped to the top of the circle. I'll undo this, and let's go back to the timeline mode. When selecting a preset, you can see the timeline rows which are compatible with the preset, are grayed out. The mouse cursor changes to show where you can and can't drop a preset. There is a range of presets available, but sometimes you might want to use a piece of media. On the media tab, simply click new to load a piece of media. Most media formats are supported. Once added, simply drag it onto the timeline. The presets allow you to flip, mirror and adjust timing and black level. We can simulate what the video file will look like when played on the fixtures. The fast forward button jumps 10 seconds, to forward to the video preset. Let's create an additional matrix. We can duplicate, because Pharos allows you to use fixtures in multiple matrices. In this matrix, we'll position some of the fixtures on top of each other. This is indicated by the black hatch. And we adjust the matrix size to a tight fit. This freedom allows you to apply effects on any fixture mapping, regardless of the position of your fixtures in the layout tab. Let's copy the exact same preset on the two matrices. And have them play back after each other. I'll turn repeat on for this example. You can see that when applied on the first matrix, the 2D waves cover the full width. When applied on the second matrix, the 2D waves cover the first 6 columns. And the right 5 columns show identical content. So far, we've only used RGB fixtures on a single layout, but Pharos supports many different fixture types and multiple layouts. We'll show you this in the next Getting Started video.